Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I am here with London and Harper. <laughs> it is super bright outside, but we are working on what? Blueberry bushes. Covering our our blueberry our blueberry bushes. bushes and our grapes. Alrighty, so we have already started the process of covering these blueberry bushes. I wanted to get a head start because I've never done this before. Um, we had every intention of making like a, um, a high tunnel with this pipe here and rebar and some nutting. And it was going to go up and over the bushes the whole way down through um, down to our grapevine. We were going to cover all of this and things just aren't working out. We have a lot going on with the business and stuff and Brian was not able to get the rebar home that he needed to hook this to. He was going to pound rebar down into the ground and then hook this pipe from the rebar up and over to a second piece of rebar. So we've kind of had to adapt and I said to him, I have this idea of using tool and clothespins, a super cheap, hopefully cost-effective way to keep Japanese beetles, caterpillars, um, anything like that, the birds, the chickens, away from these dangle blueberries. You can see that my blueberries are done blossoming, so I don't have to worry about pollinators at this point. They have already done their pollinating job. We have seen some signs of caterpillars and we've had some ants, but thankfully we seem to have beaten the Japanese beetles and the berries are still pretty loaded, which means my chickens and the birds have not been eating them. So we're kind of doing this at the right time. Um, what we did, well, let me show you what we got first. So I, placed, so I placed a pretty simple order on Amazon. I got two packs of this, it's 54 inch by 40 yard fabric tool bolt. Um, I got two of those. I wanna say these were like $13 a piece and we might need more. I'm just guesstimating at this point. And then we also got this um, pack of uh, wood three and a half inch clothespins. They're wood clothespins. So we got two of those and two of this tool and we have a pair of scissors. That's literally all we got. And you can see my blueberry bushes are in a varying state of size. So obviously a small little bush like that is going to require far less uh, tool, for example, than this gigantic bush down here. Now for these smaller bushes, what we found is it's easier to go up and over the bush, tie the four corners, tie two corners here and two corners on the other side, tie those together and then roll up your seams. And we are literally just close pinning the seams together. Now, I'm, I don't wanna do anything very permanent because as soon as these berries ripen, we wanna be able to take this all off and get back in there and then we don't need it again for the rest of the summer um, until next year, actually. So if we do this right, this cheap old little trick might, we might be able to get a few years of use out of these tool, this tool and these clothespins. And obviously we can repurpose the clothespins on the clothesline. But I am going to set up the camera. I've explained the basic gist of it. Um, this big bush here, we couldn't go up and over so we went around it and it was short enough that we were able to tie the seam together at the bottom and then we're able to roll it up and over um, the seams over here actually so we piece the seam together and then we just uh, we were able to piece it together like that we've got to take care of this chunk of down here though so we're gonna set up the camera and uh, we're gonna show you kind of how we do this, I think. Um, probably on some of these smaller bushes, to be honest with you. All right, so Harper has pointed out the caterpillars. 
These are the caterpillars we always get. I don't know what type of caterpillar this is, um, but these are the guys that end up eating away at my plants. So um, I'm not usually a fan of killing bugs or anything like that, but this guy will get squashed or go into the chickens. So um, when we check the blueberries, you know, we it's kind of best to go from the bottom up and you can kind of see up through all of the branches. So make sure before you cover your bushes, if that's something you're gonna do, or your grapes, that you really go over them and, uh, you know, you check that there are no bugs in there because it doesn't make sense to put the netting on if you're just gonna be containing the bugs with the berries. Um, that defeats the purpose, right? All right, everybody, so my plan is to just wrap all of these grapes. Um, so we have two rows of them, this first row, and then we have that back row. So I'm just gonna take the tool and I'm probably gonna just do like two layers of tool, just wrap it around and then just pin the top and bottom the best that I can.
right, there we have it. We did run out of toll, but we were able to get all of the grapes done. These couple long tendrils, I just kind of worked around them because I do want my grapes to end up getting up there to that tallest wire. Um, they have a ways to go yet. So this is the final product. London has decided to use the remaining toll to be a bride. All right, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.